Hello guys, so welcome to this video. So in the video, we are going to build the dynamic grid from the data that we get from the backend. Okay, so they have been purple. <coughs> Excuse me. So now I put the table on the dynamic build. Okay, so before that, uh, what I wanted to do is I will copy this thing up to T body. <coughs> Right, so I'll go here. Okay, uh, I'll declare report HTML or string variable. Not declare one right? And uh, if check validation is true, I'm going to build that uh, string is equal to right. Uh, I'll paste it. Parenga, I'm going to build a string. Right from here, okay. So, you don't the single quote here huh? because inside a string, okay, you uh, don't another string, it work out. So, it is a class, class and ID, now the single quote, huh? okay. Uh, then so fast up will one la plus right so what i'll do i'll copy this paste it here paste it here plus paste it here paste it here plus okay paste it here paste it here plus. similarly so in the plus here I have string concatenation. So when you uh, learn about Java string operation in JavaScript, there is something called uh, string concatenation. Okay. So in Genda Pantro of Dina, we are concatenating this long string. Okay. So anything that is uh, that is represented with double quote it is called a string. Okay. So in the long string could concatenate this particular this string and concatenate this two string now with this and concatenate this three strings with this. Okay. Similarly, we formed a data, I mean uh, a table, T body number form bonito, and I am going to replace this. Uh, so, it is rows on the way, that is the data, it is similar. So, in the, in the scenario, you have to select this call, okay, and press control plus D, okay. So, now go the Lame, very time select, I know. Now we can change it like this. Call. Okay, Anjuro over a time lady ponyach. Right. So this is where we get uh, data, get our data. Okay. So now I pen up on a program dinner. I'm going to declare one more array variable report array equal to. Okay, array on the button declare for no. So report array again. I know under report array equal to data. We now point money right. So for a console dot log report array now. See, uh, I go back to front end. Submit Pandra. Now see console end up and type Okay, we got what? Now, uh, whatever we got from the database, we are binding it to report array. Okay, array last in Bonito, you parana array on the uh, in the Mari uh, data in the Mari array. Right? So, the next thing what I will do, I want uh, length here. 
ஸோ டோட்டலாக எவ்வளோ டேட்டா நம்மளுக்கு ரிட்டர்ன் ஆகுது அப்படின்ற லென்த் நம்மளுக்கு வேணும் ஸோ அகெயின் யூ கேன் சி என்ன ப்ரிண்ட் ஆகுதுன்னு பார்ப்போம் ஓகே ஐ எம் கெட்டிங் அன்டிஃபைன்ட் ஸோ ஐ திங்க் ரிப்போர்ட் அரே உள்ள டேட்டாவில் இது ஃபார்ம் ஆகிருக்கு ஓகே ஸோ இட் ஷுட் பி ரிப்போர்ட் அரே டாட் டேட்டா டாட் லென்த் பாருங்கள் நம்மளுக்கு வர டேட்டாவை இங்கே அசைன் பண்ணிட்டோம் ஓகே நம்மளுக்கு ஏபிஐலேருந்து என்ன வருதோ அதை இங்கே கால் பேக்கில் டேட்டான்ற வேரியபிளில் நம்ம கெட் பண்ணி ஓகே டேட்டான்ற ஒரு இது ஒரு ரன் டைம் வேரியபிள் ரைட் ஸோ இதை கெட் பண்ணி ஒரு அரையில் நம்ம செட் பண்ணிட்டோம் ஓகே பட் இந்த பேக் எண்ட் ஹவ் வி ஆர் சென்டிங் த டேட்டா வி ஆர் சென்டிங் த டேட்டா ஆஸ் டேட்டா ஸோ டேட்டான்னு ஆல்ரெடி ஒரு அரே வேரியபிளில் தான் நம்ம சென்ட் பண்ணுறோம் ரைட் So at this point, report array will, uh, there will be a data array in which the data will be available in the form of array. And success true. This is what we are going to talk about. Look at that. Success true data in the array. So now when I print report array dot data dot link. So what do we need to do? Okay, this time we got the link. Right? ஸோ இப்போ நான் என்ன பண்ண போகிறேன்னா ஐம் கோயிங் டு க்ரியேட் ஒன் மோர் வேரியபிள் ஆல் வேரியபிள் ரிப்போர்ட் லென்த் ஈக்வல் டு ஐம் கோயிங் டு அசைன் இட் ஆஸ் ஜீரோ ஒரு இன்டீஜர் வேரியபிள் ஐ வில் டேக் திஸ் ஹியர் ரிப்போர்ட் லென்த் ஈக்வல் டு ரிப்போர்ட் அரே இதை நான் இங்கே இதுக்கு அசைன் பண்ணிட போகிறேன் ஓகே நான் என்ன பண்ண போகிறேன் அப்படின்னா ஐ வில் ரிமூவ் திஸ் கன்சோல்ஸ் ரைட் ஸோ ஐம் கோயிங் டு ரைட் அ ஃபார் லூப் ஸோ ஃபார் லூப் பற்றி நீங்கள் படிச்சுருப்பீங்க பட் ரியல் டைமில் இப்போ பாருங்கள் ஐ வில் ஷோ யூ ஹவு த ஃபார் லூப் ஒர்க்ஸ் ஐ லெஸ் தென் ஓகே ரிப்போர்ட் லென்த் ஸோ வாட் எவர் லென்த் வி கெட் திஸ் அரே ஐ மீன் திஸ் லூப் ரன்ஸ் தட் மெனி நம்பர் ஆஃப் டைம்ஸ் ரைட் ஸோ இப்போ நம்ம என்ன பண்ண போகிறோம் அப்படின்னா ஒரு டேபிள் இனிஷியல் ஸ்ட்ரக்சர் நம்ம ஃபார்ம் பண்ணிட்டோம் ஐ திங்க் வி டோன்ட் நீட் திஸ் ஐ வில் ரிமூவ் திஸ் ஓகே ரைட் இல்லை இருக்கட்டும் வி ஹாவ் டு நோ ஹவு மெனி டேட்டா ரிட்டர்ன் ஸோ வி காட் த ஸ்ட்ரக்சர் நோ வாட் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டூ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு ஃபார்ம் திஸ் ரோஸ் டேபிள் ரோஸ் இதுதான் நம்ம டைனமிக்காக க்ரியேட் பண்ண போகிறோம் ஓகே So once I complete this implementation, you will understand what I have done. Okay, report HTML. Again, I am going to concatenate with the existing, with the existing uh, structure. This is a coder. Again, I am going to concatenate. So I will paste it again here. I will say, so as we already did, I uh, will copy this. paste it here so idu namba panni mudichadha paathinga appadina you will definitely understand how to uh, dynamically create any html element okay so enna pannala here i'm making it as single uh, single quote la because i have already said string ulla is or string ad eduthukom then it will not work so here i'm going to remove this i'm going to bind the dynamic data that we get it here so report array the data of i okay what is the column we are getting from king and then we copy it okay so what is the column we are getting uh, we are going to show users the visitor id okay idu vandu database la namalku return agra columns so database columns i am going to bind it here okay so a visitor id vandu inga varudhu right ஓகே இங்கே நான் அதை பயன்பட போகிறேன் 
and visitor name okay visitor name i am copying it from here visitor name and the mobile number mobile number okay so again from the database field and date of visit Copying it from here, data visit. Okay, so I pen up on la, is an a copy on it. So you put an add on it. So that we will bind whatever data we get from the database. So in the one, I'm going to bind i. i is for what in the sequence number one, two, three, four. Okay, so that we'll know how many columns we retrieved from the database. How many data we got from the database? Okay, uh, so if the copper end up on no na, I'm going to complete this uh, string building. So table row form pani achi. We have opened t body here and table here. The two things I'm close pani no, right? So again, it is going to be a string t body. Plus table. Okay, so table and close for niya che. Now what we are going to do? I'm a build panna in the string. We are binding. We are going to bind it as a HTML to a div element. So adengar kuna in the div kuna mapana poro di na. Uh, so in the div la now panna poro okay uh, i will copy this div id i'll come down so below this okay dollar and the div order id so ash dv report dot html nam bind panna poro so there is a property called html in jquery Right, so it will number form on a string HTML and number bind one. Right, so before I say what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove this table for now. We'll see how the dynamic element gets bind in the DOM. So I saved it, paranga empty. Right, so when I run this query, uh, validation or cow there, okay, finally. We got what? We got the data that from the back end, and we bind it in the front end. Now I will change the query. Uh, date now I've changed one run. Now I select five. Hey, we got only five. Now I select three. Okay. Uh, one thing I noticed, pending a bit now here. The data is not sorted. Okay, one to one or the it should be sorted. So now, when I want to go on, we are going to the back end. Okay, so in the code, I'm going to uh, dot sort. Remember, simple sort and sort it. In the field, I'm going to sort. When I put on the field, the in the put on. Right. So I save the back end now. Okay. Uh, now I run it again. Paparang a sorted. We get the output as a sorted data one one two five six seven eight. Right. So, purundir kono negra. Paparang a I select it as thirty to one. See, now it is not working. Yeh worka gla. We will see the console. Console la pata. We got a error. In error, na which is not found for date range between 30 and 1. In the date range, the data islands were there. But when we visit the database, okay, one k data here. So one k data are na one data matto inga visible amala. So it is not working. So yeah, it worked agla bina. In the back end, we have greater than or equal to to start date to less than end date. Okay, wow. so start date less than less than end date is not possible, but it should be less than or equal to end date. Okay, 
if I save it again, right? So now when I run it, okay, now it is running. It is if a one date matter, we will cut it. Okay, select from three, two cut it. Select from fourteen, full cut it. So now when I say thirty to thirty one, there is no data. So in the case la, what we have to do, we have to show empty. Okay. Uh, so I can open now, Bina. I go here. Uh, right. So yeah, this is where we are calling the API. Okay. Uh, when the API is done, okay, we are binding it here. When it fails, we have to empty. So, in uh, a uh, I'll do report HTML equal to empty. Okay, then uh, what I'll do, I will bind it here, right? Okay, so now select Pandra 32 9. We got the grid 30 to 31, we got empty. Okay. Again, thirty to eight. We got the grid. So I think everything is fine now. We are getting uh, data from the back end, and we are able to bind the data in the front end. But in the sequence zero, one, two, three, is print The number should not start from zero, one, two, three. Start another correct arco. So it's very simple. I am going to. Uh, have a variable here okay as variable uh, sequence number equal to one and so right so i'll copy the sequence number and put it here and also here and uh, at the before the for loop ends i'll put it here and increment it to one okay so end up on Rana, sequence number one and so wrong. So the if the uh, if i is zero or one or uh, one, either or and along sequence number on the increment I don't. So I think we don't need uh, if for else we meet well. Okay, directly we can see this. Now I save on uh, I'll go here thirty to ten. I submit it. It starts from 1 to 7, beautiful it's it. and data also we got it. So when I change the sequence, working perfectly, okay, right. So I think we are done with our uh, binding, okay. So uh, next video, I will keep a export Excel button here and when I click on it, this uh, is Excel download of my user. Right, the uh, number of functionalities and only one thing is pending, which is sending message to users. Right, so the model is now our entire uh, series is done. I hope you guys understood uh, the thing that I taught you in this video. If not, please uh, write a comment below this video. Also, send an email to my email ID. Right. Thank you guys, we will see you in the next video.